Hi everyone, my name is Stephanie and I'm a first year engineering student at UBC and in this video I'll be talking about using a tablet to take notes in university. So there's definitely lots of different great ways to take notes, um, but personally this past year I've been using an iPad for notes for most of my classes, so I'm just going to be talking a bit about how I like to use it. If you're interested in learning more about university lectures, make sure to check out Sharon's video because she has a great video on the topic. So this is just how I like to use the iPad for taking notes in engineering. Um, if it is an option, I think it's a really useful tool, but there's also lots of other great options for taking notes. So I have an iPad and an Apple Pencil, and I personally choose to use the app Notability, which I really like, um, but I know some other good options are GoodNotes and Microsoft um, OneNote is also a free option. So for math, this is an example of notes that I might take. Um, they're pretty similar to paper with how um, you could just write out the different equations, um, but it's really nice to be able to use different colors and erase things easily. So I also really like using the tablet for readings since it's really easy to highlight things. And also for most textbooks, there's a paper and an online option. And using the tablet for an online option is pretty close to the paper version. So again, for lectures, I find it's really helpful to have a split screen feature that tablets um, have, so then you're able to look at the notes that the professor might have posted before, and then write notes on the side um, to write further explanations. So for physics, I find it's really helpful um, to be able to have the diagrams, um, since these diagrams are pretty complicated and you wouldn't want to have to draw them all the time if you don't have to. Um, so it's nice to be able to have them on the tablet instead of having to print them out. And again, for classes like physics, it's really nice to be able to have some of the more complicated diagrams as real images in your notes. Um, and it's nice to be able to take uh, notes next to the lecture slides. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, as always, if you have any questions, you can let me know in the comments. And make sure to subscribe if you're interested in more engineering-related content. Bye!